So we have some big controversy, some big and more trans <clears throat> trans controversy. The Babylon, so the Babylon B got locked out of its Twitter for a tweet naming Rachel Levine its man of the year. That was very insulting. And here it is. Babylon B's man of the year is Rachel Levine. Right. Now that's misgendering and that's against Twitter's policy. Right. Um, and so they locked them out. I, I, uh, oh. By the way, in other news, did you know that Twitter allows the Taliban to be on Twitter <laughs> and also pornography? No, I'm not <laughs> talking soft core Instagram side boob <laughs> pornography. I'm talking hardcore spread eagled medical textbook grade butthole images. Yeah. All allowed on Twitter. But you can't post crazy crap like this by the Babylon Bees uh gag. That's a that's a gag. Uh not a good gag. Yeah, I didn't I, I'm not even outside of any like thing of the trend like when i saw it i just i laugh at their things when i see them usually I, like, I, usually i laugh at the babylon b i did not laugh at that i didn't think that was funny yeah i, I like that it's just like it's fine like we got me and kyle do uh, stuff on there and you got to be so because i mean like i don't know there's just like a funnier way to do a thing than that but i didn't know the whole thing okay I, i'll let you do the thing as well. No, I mean it's it's like they didn't. That's not a joke. It's just like the way they it, think. You get to it later in the thing, but uh -huh. I understand a little better by the time you get to the end of this. Okay, all right. So the satirical conservative site posted the notice from Twitter saying that the account was locked for violating the Twitter rules, specifically the policy against hateful conduct. We received this notice that we've been locked out of our Twitter account for hateful conduct. Said the B. In an Instagram post, we're told our count will be restored in 12 hours, but the countdown won't begin until we delete the tweet that violates the Twitter rules. By the way, hateful conduct. <laughs> hateful conduct. That's the difference. The people who post raw butthole shots <laughs> love buttholes. They don't hate them, and that's why they're allowed to post them. The Taliban loves Jews in America. <laughs> No? Am I wrong on that one? I mean, apparently, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm stumped. I guess they just get to decide. Yeah. Twitter just gets to decide what they, what they, what is what. Uh, so, I, I, by the way, I don't think they're going to take down that tweet. No. The B said it would give up its account, which has 1.3 million followers before erasing the tweet. We're not deleting anything, said the B. Truth is not hate speech. If the cost of telling the truth is the loss of our Twitter account, then so be it. Now, I'm not so sure that that's the truth that they posted because... Well, that doesn't matter because now that you took a, a joke that me, that's not sensitive, went meh to, they yeah. have now made these guys into a, a man for all seasons, like where, you know, like, because they have more integrity. The B's like... I, yeah, I don't, the joke's like whatever, but good for them. Like, well, screw your stupid uh, platform. And this is why you don't censor, because now a joke that wasn't any good <laughs> now has to be defended, right? Uh, and 1.3 million people are going to not think how you want them to think, and if anything, be less accepting of trans people. I think that, I, I think, I, I think that tweet actually would have a rebound effect, you know? Yes. It, it would make people more sympathetic to that uh, trans woman for them doing that. It did me, anyway. I didn't think they should do that. That's right. And that's the, it's like a principle of, you know, yeah. I don't believe in the punching analogy, but there is a thing of now they screw, well, I mean, they don't care about the trans woman or anything, obviously, but they screwed up by doing, because now I you're, think. I think you. I think they. I think the Babylon B did screw up. Oh no, no, I mean by censoring them. Babylon B just made a joke that's like really whatever that. And so I you think you think you well, you think that well, of course censorship is bad. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the joke, I just be like, eh, like if I was writing, I'm writing. You know, right. we'd sit there and noodle on things. But all. now people are going to have to defend that bad joke. Yeah, because, now you got to get in a civil war over a thing that oh. they don't even like yeah. because of. Well, that's how I felt about. Uh, 
you know, when I defended uh, Alex Jones, you know, I wasn't defending Alex Jones. I was defending a principle. I mean, you've definitely done the opposite of defend him. You I've don't have to prove that. <laughs> I've, done, I've definitely done the opposite of defend him. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, the bees, Levine, ding. Oh, it was a ding. <laughs> came shortly after... The Time magazine named the Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary one of its 12 women of the year. So that's what brought this to attention. Yeah. That trans woman was named by Time magazine of one of its 12 women of 2022. The former Pennsylvania Health Secretary reportedly transitioned from male to female in 2011 at the age of of 53. See, that's what I was talking about where I'm like, okay, I get it a little better because I thought it was very uncharacteristically of Babylon be like not very so now I at least on I don't think I, I at least understand you know where how they came to it oh but they're th what they're thinking the progression the but I didn't see this before I saw that so uh -huh. how am I gonna know Twitter has shown little tolerance for those who refer to Dr. Levine as a man Representative Jim Banks Indiana Republican was suspended in October for a tweet saying the title of the first film first female four-star officer gets taken by a man referring to dr levine's promotion to four-star admiral in the u.s public health service commission course so however you feel about misgendering the what's that that's not the surgeon general oh, okay all right well twitter's policy against hateful conduct includes comments that promote violence against, threaten, or harass other people on the basis of race, ethnicity, national origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, religious affiliation, age, disability, or serious disease. Okay. Oh, you, oh it's okay. Yeah. Uh we should probably frame this policy in a fancy display case next to the Constitution at this point. <laughs> Our country. That's what we should probably do. In a series of follow-up tweets, Babylon B CEO Seth Dillon explained that the account would be restored in 12 hours, but that the countdown won't begin until the tweet was deleted, which he refused to do. So on Monday morning, Dillon further added, while the offending tweets remain live, the Babylon B is unable to post anything new hmm. uh but there's a lot of people who do this all the time there's a an account called michelle obama is a man isn't that wild that they let what in the name of jk rowling is this shit <laughs> here's another one marjorie taylor green is not only a russian asset she's also a russian asshat and a man P what, P so people are doing this. This is uh, the only difference between Alex Jones and Ann Coulter, Coulter is Alex has bigger boobs and Ann has a bigger Adam's. Uh, so people do this kind of garbage. Uh, Ann Coulter is a man. Carry on. So people, yes, carry on. Carry on censoring the people I don't like for the crimes I am also guilty of. Carry on. <laughs> this is uh you're telling me the lindsey graham is a guy thought he was a woman so this happens all the time on twitter and they don't get all of them uh oh here's one here's where keith oberman was tweeting about me and he misgendered me yeah. he said time to he wanted to ban me by the way that's his base his flex he's a fascist and he doesn't know it he thinks he's fighting fascism because he doesn't like trump but he's way more of a fascist than trump is i mean keith oberman he says, time to ban this feral succubus. No, succubus is a female. Yeah, you're an incubus. I'm an incubus. <laughs> so he's calling me a, a succubus. That's misgendering me. And that is supposed to get him kicked off Twitter. But no one cared. You know, someone should tell Keith Olbermann that he needs to have a more ambiguous discernment of good and evil <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> so I, I think it's not. I don't think that. I don't think that that was not some of Babylon B's best work. In fact, it wasn't good. Dude, it, you know, that's an interesting one after the swimmer. Because somebody like, you know, our friends or like somebody else will text me when uh, Levine whatever got appointed. And I felt like, no, I'm like, 
well, what is she like going to beat? Another general's time by thirty eight seconds. Like, yeah, who, no, it's like what's not a, it's a job. Anybody, like, I don't yeah, give it. She doesn't. It, she doesn't have an adva- advantage by being a. She's a disadvantage, woman. and yeah. so that's why. But I do understand. Even though I would just cut the joke because of this very issue, they're making fun of them putting her in the list of what the best women, mm-hmm. not the best surgeon gen- or, what, or whatever. Whatever her yeah health service. Yeah, so I understand the laughing at a list of the best women and and like oh we got to include. I can I can see where you make a joke, but I didn't see that other article. Uh-huh. And even if it's unfair that she's on a list of the best women, that's still not like a sport. That's still a nonsense thing, like an award show where yeah. why would you even need to worry about the injustice of it? Who cares? You can mo- like so that's a lot of space to go after that, and then you have problems where people aren't going to get it. And then, but in fairness, now stupid Twitter. I'll give it to Babylon B. Like, like you know, people. That's the hill you want to die on. They're not really dying on the hill of that crappy joke. They're dying on the hill of no. You can't be hypocrites and throw this around. We'll just not have the account. So I actually do like that of them on this. Uh, that they that they are not going to back down. You mean? For the yeah. Censorship? Even though I would be like, this joke sucks. I would, and I'm not oversensitive. Where I'm like mad if somebody even well, it's that generally. But it's like I don't want it for a joke where. I didn't gut laugh when I saw it. I don't want to have an issue. I'm just against uh, uh, censorship uh, across the board. I'm just, uh, you, you know, bad it's, speech be- needs better speech. And you were right about all the stuff that you're allowed to post. And I don't need a uh, Silicon, a nameless <clears throat> Silicon Valley bureaucrat or billionaire deciding what is okay and what isn't. And, yeah, right. you know, I don't think that's okay, but I don't want to look at it. And then why would make fun of um, yeah, the, right. Babylon B for doing that or something? Uh, yeah, you you basically usurped your authority that should have been yeah. left to me or you yeah. <laughs> to as comments like eh, you know yeah. you you make fun of how bad of a joke that is. That's what I would do probably. I would go, wow, this is and that would I I, sh- I bet you anything because they're generally funny. Those guys with Babylon B would accept that kind I, of criticism as people that have made me laugh, so I know they're funny. Yeah, yeah. So often, often Babylon B has, has things I've retweeted. Even they're funny. This this is not one of those things. And uh, so, yeah, there you go. It's just the hypocrisy, like the uh, the thing of like, oh, no, I'm not positive. You just let all these people do this thing. The Michelle Obama one, how is that allowed? How is that allowed? I thought maybe it was a promotion for their new Netflix project, and it's like a sitcom. Ah, <laughs> how is that allowed? That's an account. Yeah, so that's why we don't have those kind of laws. It's much the way, like, say, drug laws are unevenly applied, or yeah. any other thing. This kind of policing should. Go first before we. You so know. it seems like selective enforcement. It's, yeah, because it's not a public service; it's a private company. You, right. Like, why would you put them in charge of that? I know. We're doing our live stand-up tour. We're going to Houston. We're going to Dallas. We're going to Los Angeles, Orlando, Tampa, Columbus, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, and more. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets. And become a premium member. You get all our bonus stuff.